got the same thing. I don't know what it's turning about. box is kind of all dented up, so I don't know. Hopefully it's okay. Like, look at that. Looks like they recycle the box. That's kind of, well, They put a nice foam in here. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice heavy duty cable. Nice and thick wiring, it looks like. Wow, even the charging cable is like nice and thick compared to the original. It looks good. Wow, this thing is like. It's heavy. We'll see. I don't know how much it weighs, but if I carry the cable and everything, uh, I'd say about six, seven pounds. Hold on, I'm going to bring it inside and weigh it. I'm probably over-exaggerating. It's probably lighter, but let's see. Let's wake this up. Oops. Oops. I think it's like four-ish pounds. 3.9. Okay. Not too bad. All right. Compared to the original charger, here you go. Let's see, I need to make some room here, hold on. All right, so comparing the other charger, I'm gonna put all this wiring on there, oops. Can't get it all on. So the original charger is so maybe like one and a half pounds, yep. So four pounds, that's like more than double. And size wise, here you go. Pretty big. All right, that's pretty much it. You've got some only using one fan. It has a switch here to switch between 110 and 220 volts on off switch. So it's nice. You can actually plug everything in and then turn it on. You can change how much percent to charge up the wheel to 80, 90, or 100 percent. And you got how many amps? Five, seven, or nine. And that works because on the Gotway wheels, they started actually using four pins. So two of these are positive and two of them are negative. I'm not sure exactly which ones, but yeah. All right. That's all. Here is this charger. It's kind of cool. Let me, I can plug it in, but I need to drain my wheel a little bit first. So I'll be back. Let me drain my wheel and, and then I'll start charging. All right, so I'm canceling the range test. Um, I'm going to do it, I guess, later. Um, but I'm going to charge up the wheel. I set this to 100%. All right, and we're going to plug this thing in. So we'll see. I think I tried it a little bit earlier. I set it to 5 amps right now. I don't know if I should set it higher. I'm not in a rush right now. So actually, maybe I'm semi in a rush, but I didn't drain the wheel that far. So... Um, maybe I'll just, yeah, 5 amps should be fine. Yeah, we'll try the 9 amps, actually. Okay, so let's do it. Plug it in. I usually just feel where the notch is and then line it up that way. All right, and we will plug this in. And, oops, I should, I should not have done that, but, uh, the pins look okay. Anyways, <laughs> I forgot. Plug that in the wall. There's a switch here. Turn it on. And then plug it into the wheel. I was not supposed to arc that thing. So there we go. And it's on. Charging. Why is it zoomed in so much? 99.9 .9 volts. Yeah, I don't need to charge it that fast. I only need to get 2 volts back. So I'm going to unplug this. <laughs> It's already, okay, so I'm going to set it to 5 amps because I only need a little more charge. Wait, why isn't it going in? Come on, plug in. Plug in, buddy. Did I, did I mess something up here? Why did it stop? Do I have to turn it off and on every time? 
That's weird. Okay, let's turn it off. Everything's plugged in. That's weird. Okay, I guess we have to... So this charger has some quirks to it, I guess. We'll turn it off. Takes a while to turn off. Come on. Why is it permanently on? I turned the switch off. Why is it still on? There we go. Okay. So the capacitors hold a lot of power in there and it just stays on. So I'm going to turn it on now. All right, and, and let's plug it in. There we go. And now it's only showing 98.8 volts. So it's kind of weird. So I guess there's there are some weird quirks to this. Um, hopefully this video will help you guys if you're using this charger. But um, yeah, plug it in. Make sure it's um, off when you plug it in. After you plug it in, turn it on and then plug it into your wheel. If it finishes charging, don't unplug it and plug it back in until you turn it off. Make sure all these lights go back on, then turn it back on, and then plug it in. All right, so that's one thing I learned about this charger. All right, hopefully this helps some people with their charging with this charger or this wheel. I don't know if it's the charger or the wheel that was causing these weird things. But yeah, hopefully it helps. See you guys later, bye.